What is up guys? Welcome to the studio and another video. So this week is a really exciting week. In the studio we are building a soda kiln. So if you don't know what a soda kiln is, it's a kiln where at a high temperature you're loading baking soda and other chemicals into the kiln and the, that does crazy things to the glazes and to the pots and to the clay. It's just a really interesting, unique style of firing that is not super common. So we're having Kevin Kowalski, who is a potter and a great artist out in Southern California. We are flying him here to do the workshop with us. So he's helping us build the kiln and we have nine people that are signed up to take the workshop here to help us build the kiln and then also learn how to build the kiln. Uh, so it's a really exciting week. We start building tomorrow. Kevin is on his way right now. There's Kevin right there in the air. Right there, I'm about to go pick up Kevin. So the April collection of pots will be going up Sunday, April 14th at 6 p.m. Central Time. We have tons of pots, a few new soda pots, but mostly electrified, gas-fired, mugs, oil dispensers, tons of really great stuff. And we're doing our first soda firing workshop uh, May 24th. So if you're interested, three days, you come glaze load one day, uh, then you see the soda introduction the next day, and then we unload the last day. Check it out on Etsy as well. Uh, I'm really excited about this, the, the future firings and the stuff that we can do in a soda kiln is gonna be really fun. So it's been a lot of prep work. Uh, this is just a small list of the things we needed from drills and burners and lighters and all the stuff that we need to build the kiln, most of which was the bricks. So big shout out to Smith Sharp Fire Supply in Minnesota for helping us out with the bricks. So this video is sponsored by them. If you need any kiln bricks or advancer kiln shelves, they also sell those. Uh, which are the best shelves, which we will be using advancers in the soda kiln. Uh, so check them out if you need any kiln bricks. Smith Sharp Fire Brick Supply. What do you think, Kai? Are we ready for it? this? I hope so. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Kai's been doing a lot of work getting prepped for this. We have lots of lists and Excel spreadsheets, but should be ready. I'll show you guys just a few things. Here's the burner that we'll use. That's a custom made uh, burner from Ward Burners. So that's hooked up to our propane. Back here is a ton of the materials that we have, as well as all the bricks. So we have high heat bricks in these boxes right here that are soft brick, then we have medium brick, and then for the chimney we have the brick over there, and then there's a mortar that we'll mix up that we uh, put inside the kiln. So the kiln build is a repurposing an old electric kiln. So these are some pieces of an old electric kiln, an old 1027 that we will build the kiln brick base and then fire it up through there. So out here, this is where we will be building the kiln. So we're gonna build it out here. Uh, chimney will go up. Eventually we can permanently hook up the gas right there. So it should be a good spot. <laughs> Did he just say, I wish I was a real YouTuber? <laughs> I do fun and exciting things that bring it out like this. Yeah. So the blade is spinning this way. Spins this way. So the sparks are gonna go down. All right, today is the day of the kiln build. It's exciting stuff. We got a very cold and windy day, so great. Uh, not great, but we'll make do. So Kevin got here last night. We put together a couple things. Uh, these are some of his pieces that were all soda fired. Look at that, pretty sweet. Check out Kevin Kowalski. Uh, he does this really cool mocha diffusion thing, it's called. And so, yeah, those are all of his pieces that he brought as examples. Uh, yesterday, right when we got here, uh, after picking Kevin up from the airport, we were working on putting together the damper. So that'll be part of the chimney. So we worked on that. Uh, we also cut, this is a piece of 
angle iron, and this is how we load the soda into the kiln. So we cut a little handle off of the end there, and then we'll use it to load that in at the high temperature. Exciting stuff, I'll try and film as much as possible. Uh, we got nine people headed here in about an hour. It's gonna be a good time. At the end of today, we'll have a new kiln at the studio. Is everybody excited? Yeah. Me too. We get a kiln, I get to meet a bunch of new people. It's gonna be fun. The kiln building. So you guys are all here to learn about building a kiln, converting a kiln, and then uh, the process of firing, see some results on your pieces. And I'm, that's the exciting part for me is I get to see your work, get to see your choices that you make with the glazes, um, and then see how they come out of the kiln. And these have no glaze on them. The, these, these pieces here are all flashing slip. This is a, um, a porcelain, Nara porcelain from Aardvark. <coughs> and then there's a flashing slip applied here with the mocha diffusion technique on top. And then uh, glaze on the inside only just to, to line it. Okay. And then the rest is um, achieved by the soda, the soda vapor in the kiln and the, the yellow flashing slip. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't have any glaze. The way that we're going to do it now is we're going to put all that mixture on this angle iron mm -hmm. and then put it in there and just dump it in. With that refractory uh, mortar mm -hmm. and then we're going to let it cure for 24 hours. Part, the, the chimney, you can use a lower grade brick. This is the way that I, I stack the chimney and then we have a damper system that we created so that a damper is a uh, kiln shelf that goes here and closes off the air and the gas and everything from leaving or coming in. And so when you are firing, you want to like put the damper at a certain distance and kind of open it up as more uh, gas and air is needed so that you can create a oxidation or a reduction environment. All right, so this is the site. We've kind of figured out that this is the best location. This is the chimney. It's going to be two of these. The goal is to level this ground and set the cinder block in for our foundation. The real reason why you do a workshop so you can get to be able to do work for you. Yeah, yeah. The heat source is here with a burner uh, created and built by Ward Burner. And then this hole here is plugged up most of the time by a brick, but when we are entering, we dump it into the, the firebox. Um, then it vaporizes, carries through all the wear, and then the heat goes down through the, the flue and then out the chimney. And then we built this awesome damper system. Uh, just by cutting a few bricks and a piece of angle iron. And we've pretty much had it open to one, two max, uh, which allows air to flow and the, the gas to escape. We also built this chimney a little bit higher so the gases aren't flowing in our face. But this build, this kiln, um, it, there's, there's people like William Baker that helped 
uh, kind of pioneer this type of conversion kiln, uh, I just kind of put two elements together. So the protective layer on the inside and then kind of this downdraft technology, which is not anything that I created, but definitely something that was helpful to create an even temperature from the top to the bottom. And uh, we're also firing a cone five, six, um, maybe six and a half at the top. It was a little hotter, yeah. uh, but like great, great surfaces at cone five, six uh, in a soda kiln and it's it's a, achievable it's a, you can you can do it